Okay. So, you, you could have seen the title diagnosing the ills of equipment. Okay. Now, you are acting as if you are a doctor, doctor for equipment, okay. doctor equip. Right? Yeah. So, what we have done is or whether you have done or someone else has done I think you know they have brought this data, they have conducted RTD test, okay. not converted the data into ET, not required in fact, the shapes will not change, only thing is you are normalizing by ET, so that the area under the curve equal to 1. So, that any fraction you will find out from 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 4 to 5, you know all that fractions and to calculate the corresponding conversions and all that, that is different. But uh, C versus T data itself can be used to find out what is the problem with this particular equipment, right. Like I found out from you, what is the problem with you in the first class itself, 0th class, okay, 0 test. I gave the test and I saw the results, then I know how much large we have. So, like that this also I think someone conducted and then he, he has brought and you are expert of you now RTD and in the last class we have seen all the definitions and you know for ideal reactors what it should be you know the shapes and equations all that good. Okay. So, this one and as I told you also we have only two extremes one is mixed flow other one is plug flow. So, that means whatever equipment you have or whatever reactor you have if you are talking about reactors definitely you have only the two extremes. Uh, one extreme, we also know that we are very near to plug flow, that means it must be only a long pipe with a small diameter like a plug flow okay. or it may be a tank where continuously things are coming and continuously going out, that is normally we take it as mixed flow. right? So, this data is uh, okay, the, the, this data are c collected over this kind of you know long pipes, that means supposed to be plug flow. And then you got this kind of different shapes okay, for different equipment, all, all, are, all are plug flow are very near to plug flow. So, what is the first one? I think you know if you look at this all these graphs, you should be able to tell what is the disease. Like for example, here what is this corresponding to? It is almost like a PFR because we expect that actually ideal PFR will be a spike here, direct delta function that is what is what you expect. But in reality, we know that there is no ideal plug flow anywhere in the world. So, that is why we will say that okay, slight expansion because of axial mixing is fine. So, that is why this is almost near plug flow, near PF and also T bar and T bar observed. So, T bar is volume by volumetric flow rate and T bar observed is what? Observed means you experimentally calculated T bar. How do you calculate experimentally observed T bar? Swami? Huh? Oh, mean not volume. One is volume by yeah, mean. How mean. do you calculate mean? Sigma C i delta. Yeah. So, that equation sigma C i delta. T c delta T divided by C delta. Okay. That is what T observed. Right. So, here both are same. So, it is okay. I think behaving properly. Okay. Like a normal student. Okay. Good. So, this one. Next one. Next one we have T bar coming earlier. Sorry. T bar observed coming earlier and T bar later. And also it has long, long tail. Think, think Abdul. Huh? Yeah, he says channeling. You have to convince him. Channeling because the uh, we have T, T observed. What will happen if you have channeling? Uh, the, 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 uh, First of all, what do you mean by channeling? What do you mean by channeling? The tracing and will come before the uh, actual. Yeah, where is it coming before? T observed is coming before, sir. T observed is coming before the T bar. Ah. That means the tracer is coming before its time, so there is channeling. <coughs> Correct. Huh? Argument is right, no? Yeah, those people who told that uh, it is a bypass. Normally, you know, what is the condition? Condition is that we have very near to plug flow. What do you mean by channeling? What do you mean by channeling in a plug flow reactor? It follows a separate path and it comes out, sir. Like yeah. So when you have separate path, what will happen? You should get two peaks. Okay. Yeah. 
and why I mean, those people who have told that it is dead space why they are right is that if there is dead space what is t bar did i write wrongly or oh, correct one yeah yeah what is uh, how do you calculate t bar yeah effective volume only what you have to take okay yeah and uh, that is volume by volumetric flow rate and this one is t bar observed t bar observed is only from that right so what happens is that you are uh, when volume by volumetric flow rate volume by volumetric flow rate the actual volume is less right so i mean to give an uh, example i have 10 liters but only 5 liters are active the other uh, 5 liters are dead okay t bar observed will be less or t bar is less observed will be less yeah that's why because you are thinking that outside 10 liters that's why you calculate uh, uh, 10 liters by volumetric flow rate as t bar but actually it's only 5 liters inside uh, effective so that is why only that will reflect in the data right because you don't know how much is the dead there so that is the reason why this is dead space okay yeah so then uh, next one channel how can you have channeling so many channels ha huh? recycle you can have a recycle reactor or in uh, you know packed beds and all that if the packing is not properly put right sometimes you know you use large packing and small packing and the voidage will be different somewhere you will have the recirculations and then they are moving somewhere and suddenly one recirculation will come that is corresponding to this one region okay and also l by d should be not very very long if l by d is very very long it may not be reflecting but normally even if l by d is sufficiently long uh, you know it is like 80 i don't know now, now you can see uh, i think everywhere you have lot of water now particularly andhra is under water okay earlier i think last week we were under water so if you go and see, stand on the bridge and then look at the river flowing you will have that big uh, you know it is moving like that here also in the packed bed whenever you have large void age is yes, somewhere because of improper uh, packing possible that is Im Im improper packing so then it may be rotating there but suddenly at one point of time it will be thrown out that's what happens also if you look carefully on the bridge and then see it will be moving 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 suddenly it will appear there and suddenly again something will come and then moving moving suddenly it appears somewhere there you know that it is i don't know that's why you should be ab in life you should be more observant than anything else i say and you you can be observant only when you have brain you have brain but only thing is we are not using that is the problem okay so with all that observations we can say that this is recirculations when you have so many peaks or if you take actual uh, recycle reactor and then try to do rtd you will get exactly like this beautiful right because you are taking tracer some amount of you know it is a recycle you have uh, injected tracer some amount and this is collected only in the outlet okay so before outlet you also sent back so some tracer will come back and again that is the second peak the first peak will come in the beginning then this is second peak afterwards again it is you are continuously taking out and it is a plug flow almost ideal plug flow so you know what is the t bar there for one pass one pass right so like that you will have number of peaks coming because uh, some small amount of uh, uh, tracer will be first thrown out that is the one it's not small amount i think initially more may come and then afterwards you are recycling continuously so some more tracer will come and afterwards again another small tracer will come another tracer like that you know it goes on dying down because you only put for yeah by the way what is the input which you have given for all these experiments pulse pulse that you have to remember first because i did not tell that because it is continuously going and then staying constant at some point will be only okay so that's why yeah this is recirculation and this one channel. this is channel. channel yeah and this one accelerator actual mixing ha huh? large accelerator this is actual mixing what do you mean by this is actual mixing you see here yeah. t bar is somewhere yeah t bar is somewhere in hyderabad and this is in madras t bar observed in madras what is the meaning 
<coughs> yeah, it can be improper measurement of flow rates or volume. That means wrongly. Okay, yeah. So and also um, uh, um, another. Uh, it may not be that much convincing for you, but other thing is the most important thing in packed beds when you are using a tracer. Okay, so particularly for gas phase reactions, this tracer will go and get absorbed on the particles. That will come late. Actually, this is called late curve. Cur correct? No, you expect around T bar. It is not changing much. The shape is, as you said, almost axial mixing. But only thing is, it is coming late. Yeah, and in fact, we use in uh, science and engineering this technique only for finding out, separating out chemicals. What is the name of that? Gas chromatography. Gas chromatography. Each 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 gas has its own adsorption characteristics, and also adsorbent you take, and first SO2 you send. Depending on what adsorbent you put there, SO2 will come late, and O2 will come later, or like that. You know, different peaks. Depending on area of the peak, we will find out what is the total amount of. You know that particular chemical what you are measuring there. Okay, so that is what this is good. So this is MFR now. All this is over now. I think you know the moment you see this kind of graphs, but T bar and T T bar and T is also very important for us. And here I have not written T bar because T bar we can write here, but T bar absorbed doesn't have any meaning with so many peaks. Where is the mean? Normally mean we say when you have one peak, right? Yeah, when you have so many peaks, where is the mean? So that's why we have not written. But T bar would have been there somewhere. Okay, good. So this is MFR. In MFR, yeah, this one is almost exponential. Yeah, almost exponential curve. What is this? I mean, if you look at this, what do you find out? And T bar is also approximately equal to T bar absorbed. So this is ideal, almost ideal. Okay, I, it's of ideal. I say that near MF. Almost near M F. Okay, this this one. Huh? Sorry. Dead space. Okay. Hmm. Dead space. What do you say? It is dead space. I have not given T bar there or T there. But is you see, this is a very clear trend. Dead space is will not give that kind of trend. Because the curve is starting late, this again late curve. Huh? Yeah. So that means there must be something which is giving the time delay, time lag. Right. So what you should have happened? This is how loosely we can conduct uh, our experiments. Also, will affect all this. How loosely in the sense that if I have. Uh, Okay, this is a small one reactor, right? And I have the feed pipe here, and also feed pipe here. So I introduce feed here. I mean uh, tra tracer, not feed tracer. This is V, this is V, and I measure here. Where I am supposed to measure? Where I am supposed to introduce here? Here. This is commonly done uh, mistakes in the, when you are conducting RTD. And in mixed flow, very frequently this is done. In plug flow, you will have the same diameter, okay, throughout. And you know where it is entering, and normally we don't miss that. But in plug flow, without knowing, sorry, in mixed flow, without knowing, what we can do is we can take this tank. This length may be one feet here, and also another foot there. So two feet delay. That's why this delay will come. Okay. So what we have to write here is that long inlet and outlet pipes. Long inlet or outlet pipes. So that means there must be some kind of plug flow in series with mixed flow. Okay, PF with. Oh, I am writing PM. PF with uh, mixed flow. Yeah. Okay. Good. So uh, what about this one? Several peaks, huh? Recirculation, but not the way very clearly like this, because this may be you know very near to the 
stirrer it is moving and then throwing out and all that. Okay, good. This is recirculations. Okay, recirculations near the particularly it is a tank. Where you will have recirculations? Most of the time near the stirrer if it is lousily designed and most of the time we know how to lousily design the stirrer. Okay, so that's why. Okay, now next one. T bar is earlier and T uh, sorry T bar absorbed is earlier and T bar is later. That you are experts and also this will go for long time. This is dead space. Yeah. Next one. Next one is very 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 late curve. Again, anyway, I think this is difficult to find out. This may be wrong V, capital V or small V. Otherwise, you don't get that kind of lousy curve. Okay, or non-inert tracer. That means uh, the tracer is going and sticking somewhere to the walls. Okay, non-inert, non-inert tracer. I am not telling about a reacting tracer. Okay, non-inert tracer may be even the tracer which is getting absorbed on the walls, absorbed no, walls of the equipment, no, tank, and also can be stirrer. And then slowly it may come. It may come whenever it wants very very slowly. Good. Okay. So next one. This is a very sharp peak. Suddenly one peak comes and afterwards, and that peak is almost at time t equal to zero. Bypass. That is what is bypass. Very good. Nice. So over, I think this is the first uh, section of RTD. What we have done was I introduced you, introduced you to RTD. What is RTD? What is non-ideal flow? Okay, and then we have the definitions. And most important thing is that this RTD can be, should be for each and every phase. If I have two-phase reactor, I have to worry about both the phases. You know, or when they are moving particularly, which phase we are talking about is very important. And for each phase, you may have either plug flow or mixture flow. One example merit, where there is plug flow and mixture flow in the reactor. There are two two phases. Reverse question I am asking. Earlier we were asked, okay, in packed bed, how many phases how they are moving. Now the reverse question. Give me an example of a reactor where I have a mixture flow and plug flow. Okay, give me an example where there are two plug flows, two phases in plug flow. Okay, merit lost. Okay, non-merit people, anyone is there? Yeah. Huh? Fluid edge bed. Both will be plug flow. When do you say uh, solids will be in uh, plug flow? Rotary kill. Huh? Rotary kill. Rotary kill. Moving bed. Moving bed. Okay. Fast fluid edge bed. Not fluid edge. Fast fluid edge bed. Okay. Next question. Same thing, plug flow with mixture flow, huh? Yeah. yeah, which is plug flow, which is mixture flow? Solids are in batch. Huh? Solids are in batch. Most of them. Gas is in what? Bubbles are raising, so we may say that. And another beautiful example is bubble column reactor itself. In bubble column, you have gas and liquid. Liquid will be most of the time in mixing. Continuously also, continuously you can put continuously. You can normally L by D maybe two times, three times, but still it will be in good mixing because bubbling, the gas will be bubbling like anything that creates sufficient uh, agitation and that creates sufficient mixing. So that is example. Okay. So all these things one has to do that. Good. So that's what what we have done now, and uh, we understood what is the meaning of E T, F T, and also I T. I T is only joining this for the material balance. And definitions, and for ideal reactors also, what is ET, IT, and all that we have uh, drawn, and then we have derived the equations, right? We have done a lot in the last class, but now uh, that is the first portion. That means definitions for RTD, okay, including the definition of ideal reactors, okay. What is RTD for ideal PFR? Abdul, RTD for RTD for ideal PFR zero. zero. Okay, what is the equation describing that? If I have, if I have, a, yeah, E T. E T for plug flow. Naga. Direct. 
Huh? What is that? Yeah. How done? You are always very, very nice, huh? I think. Uh, very, very calm, very, very cool. <coughs> Louder. No, this is required. Sometimes you have to shout. Because, you know, tomorrow you will have, you are going to have your uh, husband and also children. And the first person <laughs> we have to scold is only husband. And of course, wife also scolds the uh, husband and the husband scolds wife. This is the first one. And second, children. They cannot show anger on anyone. They cannot show me on, on you or me or, okay. So, they accept my wife. But <laughs> Other wives cannot show. Yeah, that's why sometimes you know you have to louder. Tell me. A direct delta function. Okay. What is equation? Direct delta function is name you have given. Equation. Quickly, quickly. Time. Yeah. E t equal to delta t minus t naught is equal to t naught. Where is t naught? T minus t bar. Because E t is exit edge distribution function. Okay, ET is exit edge distribution function. Okay, what is E theta for P of R? High school mother. <laughs> okay, <laughs> shows you what to do. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, E theta equal to for P of R. Sorry, for uh, M of R. Arya. Arya also very calm, I see. You are married or not yet married? Not yet. Oh, you have to practice that. <laughs> practice shouting, yeah. E theta. E theta for MFR, mixed flow reactor. Yeah. I think louder, louder I say. I think E power minus theta. That is one of the simplest equations. That's why I am asking you to remember. Otherwise, I am not asking LFR. I am a fair fellow. Okay? LFR is again difficult. Right? Even though nice equation for E theta. Okay, Ramakrishna, difficult things for you. E theta of LFR. Easy to remember that, I say. Huh? You remember, huh? Gopi? 1 by 2 theta q. Okay, so these are the simple things. Good? And all these things you have to remember. At the end of any course, at least the simple things you have to remember. Okay, good. So that is the first part what we have done. In fact, RTD can be divided into three parts. First one is definitions and ideal reactors. Definition of ET, FT and all that. Okay? The second one is, now if I have this data, how do I now model my reactor using RTD information? That means, if I have this kind of uh, data or the car C versus T car, that can be easily converted to E versus T, T car or E theta versus theta car. Shape will not change, it will be exactly same. Okay? Only the scale will change because here and here. So, that, that, that will give you E theta or E t whatever. Now, if I have an equation for E t like here even actual mixing, if I have an equation for E t equation. So, that means, I have to now derive an equation that is the model. Okay, what is a model by the by? Now, all of us know that uh, models you know that uh, people who walk on the cat walk or uh, rat walk something they will do no. Yeah. So, I think now I am not talking about those models. Okay? In fact, those models I think get lot of money. That kind of uh, very awkward work they get to crores and crores. Okay, I mean this is what is life, yeah. Yeah, I think there was one dance it seems in uh, YouTube where uh, millions and um, huh? some dance, I mean yesterday there was this Kaun Banega Karurpati, that uh, KBC, they were showing that dance. It seems million hits were there for that. It looks so awkward. And when you put Bharatanatyam, no one sees. Okay? And that Kolavari, 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 I think entire world was Kolavari at, at some time. I think I have beautifully that Javid Akhtar. Javid Akhtar, you know, no? Who? Ah, right, okay. He was telling that, you know, there are no lyrics in that uh, song. There is no music. Right? And I think there is no meaning when you don't have there's so many non-idealities. Huh? So <laughs> with so many non-idealities, it was one of the best songs, at least for one week. Okay? Not one week, huh? even one month. Yeah. That is what is the status of present generation. They don't know what to like. <laughs> exactly. They don't know what is beauty, what is not beauty. 
they don't know what is wonderful uh, you know that uh, yeah only beauty beauty is the correct one right either in music or in painting or if i draw i think two lines you may be appreciating wonderful painting wonderful painting <laughs> because i think there is no meaning there is nothing there in the two lines okay so that's what i think you know world when you are getting more and more intelligent i think we are becoming a worse and worse in appreciation that is the what problem okay that's why always you know in uh, tvs the bharatanatyam will be after 12 o'clock no one will see <laughs> yeah, everyone will be or there will be excellent discussion about philosophy about life all that usually 10 30 11 o'clock yeah okay night so that no one should see no because i think they, they also took that rating and all that since no one was seeing when it is put around 9 o'clock 8 o'clock 5 o'clock because nowadays in every language serials no stretching 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 i think nowadays it has become fashion to show the face shk, 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 shk. camera and there are 10 people in the, uh, on the screen you know each one three times half an hour over <laughs> that's all. That's a, tomorrow, tomorrow out of that two people you will go, eight people will be there. I can shook. That is the kind of thing, you know. That's why you, those people who see serious, you don't have to worry at all. After five years, you come back, it will be shik shik. Those five people will be staying there. That's all, no story. Okay. That is what stretching, 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 stretching. Okay. And that people see very happily. They see. I don't know how happily they see. I think it is talaveli, kolaveli. <laughs> I think okay. okay, anyway, so that model, I am not talking about those models, I am talking about mathematical models. Okay, mathematical model is required to, yeah, to indicate the physical phenomena, to describe the physical phenomena. That is what is the mathematical model description. Okay, mathematical model gives the physical phenomena in terms of equations, in terms of equations. That is why my simplest, you know, wonderful example what I asked you is E theta equal to E power minus theta is a wonderful model. Simplest equation, very simple equation. But that is a model. What is a model? Mixed flow reactor. Unless I have that ideal model for mixed flow, I will not get this equation. Right? Or if I get this particular uh, exponential decay, and when I want to test that whether my reactor is really ideal or not, I have to put my equation here and then put those experimental points. If experimental points and equations both tally very well, then we have ideal mixed flow reactor. So, then you can calculate conversions and all that. But, but first we are proving whether you have ideal mixed flow, right. Similarly, when I have plug flow, if I get almost like direct delta function, this is almost like delta direct delta function, very nice, uh, very, very lean distribution, because that is naturally, we cannot avoid that. But on the other hand, if I put conveyor belt without any vibrations and then suddenly introduced, okay, sand is going suddenly uh, uh, white sand and suddenly I replaced uh, in the beginning some sand with red color, very short uh, length, maybe one layer of sand molecules. If there is no disturbance at all, the sand molecule that red strip will be going beautifully and then at the end you will get the red strip. That is what, what we mean by our uh, direct delta function or otherwise if you put uh, step input, so white fluid was white sand was going up on the conveyor belt, yet sometimes suddenly, I think you know with magic also you can do, the entire thing will be red. Okay? So, then uh, because without disturbing you have to do it, no? otherwise by adding and all that it may disturb. So, then red will suddenly enter, because there is no disturbance, this red you can see at 50 percent of the mean residence time, you will see 50 percent red and 50 percent white. This is what, this is how you have to imagine in your mind. right? So, that is F t. What is F t equation for uh, plug flow? C by C naught equal to? C by C naught is F. 1. 1. And again condition you have to tell. Yeah, that is very important. If you simply say 1, I cannot expect 1 to be there at, at, at t equal to t bar by 2 or t bar by 3. That is 0. Okay, so that's all. So that is what is the models now we are trying to find out. Okay, I think I will. Uh, we will take only two models. The model can be either single parameter model or multi parameter model, right? Models can be single parameter or multi. That means if I am able to describe the phenomena with only one parameter, then I will call that one as single parameter. Okay, 
So, an example can you give? Yeah, tanks in series model for describing what? Huh? Tanks in series model n only to describe what? The non ideality in I have n number of tanks and then each yeah. tank is n. I think that is not uh, actually good <coughs> representation. But n also we use ah, P of R. So, then what is that you are trying to model there? The phenomena of plug flow you are trying to imagine in terms of mixture flow reactors. The phenomena of plug flow you are trying to imagine in terms of axial mixing. When you get axial mixing d by L equal to very, 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 very small, d by L is the number, you know, that is a one parameter. But inside that, there are three parameters d, u, l, right. Okay. So, the entire that is why dimensionless number. If this number equal to 0, then you have plug flow. In fact, I told you this. I draw one line here, n equal to 1, n equal to infinity, r equal to 0, uh, r equal to infinity, r equal to 0, d by L equal to infinity, d by L equal to 0, this is plug flow. Okay. All these are single parameter models. Two parameter models. Example, you know that two parameter model also. Uh, huh? Why I say, what is this? What is happening in the brain? No storage capacity? Sushmita, you are saying something? Huh? Why are so quiet? I say, I think you know, you are M Tech, you are B Tech, you are PhD. One parameter only you could tell, another parameter you could not tell, two parameters. Tanks in series, axial mixing, and then recycle. Correct, no? If I know R, I will try to find out you know where I am, whether I am in plug flow or whether I am in mixture flow or in between somewhere, which are equivalent to number of tanks, which are equal to d by ul. This is n is a parameter. This is d by u l as a parameter, d also can be parameter in fact, d is 0 and d equal to infinity. Okay? Yeah. And recycle ratio r. Okay. I think Sushmita, you are telling something multi parameter model. Multi yeah. One more parameter you are not able to add. What are the two things we describe for plug flow? One is axial mixing equal to 0. Ah, then it is not second parameter. If you have both non-idealities, you have axial mixing and also radial non-uniformity. So, you, you, your model should, should take care of these two. How much is the radial non-uniformity in the lateral direction and how much is the Axial mixing, both of them. Apart from that, if you have uh, the axial mixing and uh, radial non uniformity and also dead space somewhere, then how many models you have? Three. How many models uh, can be described for humans? How many parameters? Diabetic one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, heart attack is one. Then any other things? Oh, BP. Yeah, I think these are all uh, complementary. Okay. Yeah. BP. So, all that you know, these are all non idealities where if you want to develop your model, all these things should come. How much sugar you have? Okay. How much BP you have? And uh, whether these walls are open or almost everything closed. Okay. So, all that kinds of things only, you know, that is multi parameter models. Okay. Tell me the multi parameters for mixture flow? Uh, bypass. Bypass? Dead space. Dead space. Huh? Recirculation. Uh, recirculation. Yeah. Three. These are the multi parameters. Okay. I think, uh, my God. Uh, so, my uh, <laughs> MF or <laughs> with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think absolutely no expansion of the brain, I say. Only contraction. Dead space. With the dead space, bypass. Okay. And of course, recirculations. 
all that. Then P of R with with the axial mixing, yeah, radial non-uniformity. We generally call radial mixing also. That means we have to understand that radial mixing is not perfect. That's all. Okay, radial mixing. Now then, yeah, you may have dead space here also. Yeah, one more. Channeling, you see, channeling n n double n. Okay, channeling. Yeah, so like this, we have you know so that you know you should not forget. See, in fact, our uh, Indian marriages are multi-parameter models. You you know that any time? Not heard. Yeah, you heard? Huh? Tell me. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, I think that I told someone. Yeah, already. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You see, how many people have to go and see the girl or the boy? Okay. First mother will, uh, mama, first father will go, or father may send his brother-in-law or someone also. Okay. So then uh, mother should go, father should go, brother should go, sister should go, and some more relatives should go. So many parameters. That's why system is unstable. Okay. It's not easy to choose, no. Whenever you have more uh, parameters, it is not that easy to converge, right? So that's why best model is single parameter for model for marriage. What is that single parameter model? Most beautiful world, uh, beautiful uh, girl or boy on this planet. That is one parameter. So you search, you search, you search, you search. When you get, you get married. Okay? Very simple, no? Only one objective. Okay? Otherwise. Whatever I think now girls may start asking dowry after 20 years now. So whether girl or boy, only dowry. Whether the boy doesn't have head or legs or nose, doesn't matter for me. Only money. Okay, same thing. Boys also can go and tell that. Okay, whether girl has anything or no, nothing. I want only maximum amount of money. Okay, so like that, you know, your own. You can, you can. Try. I think you should have that. You know, they should have the biggest bangla on the planet. Okay, doesn't matter whether it is a girl or boy or whatever. Okay, <laughs> okay. So what you are looking at is only bangla with the Asian paints. Okay, that advertisement is coming. You know, I think they go for marriage and then the girl is asked, "How is the boy? Beautiful house," she says. Okay, <laughs> so one parameter. She needs only one parameter there. That's all. Boy doesn't matter. Boy's father doesn't matter. Boy's mother doesn't matter. Okay, so like that, choose one parameter. Those who are not married. Okay, so that's why here multi-parameter models I am not uh, doing because we don't have time. So single parameters, what we take is axial mixing. Okay, and another model is tanks in series model. These two models we will take, and one multi-parameter model I will do with CSTR with bypass and dead space. That is two parameters. Okay, so these three we will do. So then I think the third part, this is modeling. That means what we do is you first develop the equation. And now, after developing the equations, there will be parameter if it is uh, n number of tanks in series, depending on n equal to 1, n equal to 2, n equal to 3, n equal to 4, you have to plot E t or F t, whatever. Okay? You can convert that one equation into the other, either e, t, e, e theta or F theta or E t into F t. Right? Then you plot E t versus t for n equal to 1, n equal to 2, n equal to 3, n equal to 4, simulation that you are experts. Okay? Yeah. So then you will get so many curves, right? n equal to 1, n equal to 2, n equal to 3 and all that. Now take the experimental data and then try to plot that data as E t versus t. So on one line, it will be the closest, maybe n equal to 3, n equal to 5, n equal to 6. So when it is almost touching one line, so now you have to say that the system has equivalent to 6 tanks in series. Same thing with d by l. Okay, when you have the equation E t versus t, the parameter will be d by l. You start with d by l equal to zero. You can also end with d by l equal to infinity. Those two extremes, CSTR and plug flow, right? Yeah. So in between, d by l equal to 0.01, 0.001, 0.005, 0.01. I told already. 1, 20, 100. You plot various lines of E t versus t curves or F t versus t curves. Now again. Data, what you collected from the equipment, 
take that and then try to plot on that right so this is manual plotting method very simple straightforward you can find out now you have another way of doing it once you have the model once you have the data go to bill gates windows computer okay matlab otherwise so give the data give the model and ask it to you know how to do it no don't know you have to learn okay yeah matching the data with model in the uh, in matlab you are doing you have you have lab now some computational labs you have yeah that is what i mean all those labs are only to help you not to spend some time without understanding anything okay so the idea is only that right so give the data choose i mean give the model and only thing is each and every point the model will calculate the uh, actual uh, model value and that will check with the experiment corresponding to that point let us say 1 second 2 second 3 seconds like that a model will calculate at 1 second and then for 1 second correspondingly what will be the et experimental data both will be matched and you give the difference the difference must be 0.0001 you know that uh, one minus the other right so uh, you you specify some uh, matching technique that means 10 to the power of minus 6 10 to the power of minus 10 like that so when all the points on the average when they match very well then finally that will give you this is the d by ul for this particular run experiment and you have to learn that i mean but you pose as if all of you are very much interested in simulation and all that okay but i think nothing is known okay i think all these things you have to do i think the idea of lab mat lab and also general laboratory computational laboratory is only for to, to tell you all this right so you know the procedure now but what is the use i think you know tomorrow morning when i ask you are not able to tell again at least procedures i say like stories well, first remember that right you you have the experimental data c versus t or et versus t you have a model where this equation is is a function of et uh, uh, e as a function of or et as a function of t with a particular parameter if it is a single parameter if it is two parameter you have two parameters so how do you choose these two parameters also is through matlab one can uh, do it you have to give only thing is when you go to matlab and then matching you have to give what is called some initial guess if you wrongly give it will never match so that means you are actually in hyderabad but i am searching in chennai what is the use impossible no i can never find you right so that matching will never occur if you have that kind of uh, wrong guesses for correct guesses you have to actually plot with your hand try to find out approximately what will be the parameter d by l values that can you can give as a guess value then your refining data matching technique will be very very quick otherwise somewhere you zero to infinity you cannot search right so this is what is the procedure in all these models okay good